The F-22 Raptor, once the crown jewel of military aviation, is now facing a challenger that few saw coming, NASA's experimental X-59 supersonic aircraft. Once revered as an unmatched force in the skies, the Raptor is nearing the end of its dominance, not because of another fighter jet, but due to a new wave of supersonic travel that promises to redefine what we think is possible. Enter the X-59, NASA's answer to the problem of loud, disruptive sonic booms, and the aircraft that could spark the next aviation revolution. But with this new development, many are questioning whether the X-59 could potentially outclass or even replace the F-22, a plane that has long been hailed as the world's premier fifth-generation fighter. The X-59, short for Quiet Supersonic Technology KSST, is an experimental supersonic aircraft developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Division for NASA. Its primary purpose is to drastically reduce the disruptive sonic booms that have historically grounded supersonic flights over populated areas. The loud noise produced by breaking the sound barrier was one of the main reasons why supersonic aircraft, like the Concorde, were restricted from flying over land, limiting their practicality. NASA, with the X-59, hopes to solve this issue and open the doors to a new era of faster-than-sound travel. But here's where things get controversial, the X-59 isn't just about passenger travel. Many in the aviation world are speculating that this technological leap could be more significant than it seems on the surface. Is the X-59 merely a civilian project, or could it be the prototype for future military applications? Some argue that the advancements in stealth, speed, and noise reduction in the X-59 could pave the way for a new breed of military aircraft that might one day replace the F-22. And as the Raptor's operational life winds down, with no immediate replacement in sight, this speculation is gaining traction. The X-59's journey began in February 2016 when Lockheed Martin received a contract to develop a plane that could address the problem of sonic booms. The project aimed to create an aircraft that could fly supersonic without producing the ear-splitting boom that has plagued supersonic jets for decades. NASA and Lockheed Martin's goal was to test a small model in a wind tunnel by 2017, with the first design review completed shortly after. By 2018, testing of the plane's stability, control, and airflow at various angles and speeds had shown promising results. The X-59 is a sleek, 99.7-foot-long aircraft with a wingspan of 29.5 feet. It's powered by a General Electric F414 engine capable of reaching speeds of Mach 1.5 at altitudes up to 55,000 feet. But it's not just the speed that makes the X-59 stand out, it's the aircraft's design. The X-59 minimizes sonic booms using a long, slender fuselage and carefully designed surfaces that prevent shock waves from merging into a single loud boom. The result? A supersonic plane that produces a ground noise of just 75 decibels, about as loud as a car door closing, compared to the deafening booms of earlier supersonic jets. NASA's plan is to test the X-59 over U.S. cities, flying it supersonic to see how people react to the minimized sonic boom. If successful, these tests could pave the way for new regulations that would allow supersonic travel over land. But as promising as this sounds, some are questioning whether NASA's ambition stops at commercial applications. Could the X-59 be a precursor to the next generation of military aircraft? This brings us back to the F-22 Raptor. First introduced in 2005, the Raptor was designed to be the ultimate air superiority fighter. Its stealth capabilities, thrust vectoring engines, and unparalleled agility made it a force to be reckoned with in dogfights. Developed during the Cold War, it was meant to give the US an edge over adversaries like Russia and China. However, by the time the Raptor entered service, the Cold War was over, and the need for such an advanced fighter had diminished. Although the Raptor has never been used in combat against another fighter jet, its presence has served as a deterrent, ensuring air dominance for the US. However, maintaining the Raptor fleet has proven to be an expensive and time-consuming task. Each aircraft requires extensive maintenance, with its stealth coating needing constant care. As the US military shifts its focus to newer technologies, such as the upcoming Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program, some are questioning whether the Raptor's era is nearing its end. The US Air Force has already reduced production of the F-22, and while upgrades continue, the writing may be on the wall for this legendary fighter. And here's where the controversy deepens, 
Could the X-59, or technology derived from it, be the future of military aviation? The X-59's stealthy design, supersonic speed, and reduced noise make it a tantalizing prospect for military use. While NASA's official stance is that the X-59 is for commercial purposes, history has shown that military applications often follow technological breakthroughs in civilian aviation. With the U.S. Air Force spending billions to upgrade the F-22 fleet, it's clear that the Raptor will remain relevant for a few more years, but the clock is ticking. As global tensions rise and competitors like China continue to develop their own fifth and sixth generation fighters, the question looms, is the X-59 the next step in military aviation, or is it purely a civilian project? Could NASA's supersonic breakthrough be secretly laying the groundwork for a future fighter that could outclass the Raptor? The X-59 may not directly replace the F-22, but the technology it pioneers could very well influence the design of future military aircraft. The Raptor's legacy, while impressive, may be overshadowed by a new wave of innovation that includes aircraft like the X-59. Only time will tell whether this quiet supersonic plane is truly the future of aviation or just a stepping stone towards something even greater. In conclusion, the X-59 and F-22 Raptor represent two different eras of aviation technology. The Raptor, with its Cold War roots and air superiority dominance, is nearing the end of its operational life, while the X-59 signals the dawn of a new age of supersonic flight. Whether the X-59's advancements will cross over into military applications remains to be seen, but one thing is clear, the skies are about to get a lot quieter, and a lot faster.